two absolutely glamorous days for the eco gear round of the Suffolk Bass Pro Series up in Wyvernhoe Dam in South East Queensland. We followed the leader, Dave Browning, and captured some of his winning fish. Number one, but not big, but we're on the board. Number two, not big, right on the mark. Well, here we are, guys. We've caught up with our day one leader, David Browning. Uh, he was the only guy to fill out a full limit yesterday. Mate, uh, how's your day going today? Not too bad. We've caught two. It's slow, but we reckon we worked on about a bite an hour, so we're happy with that. Mate, uh, when I've jumped on board, uh, what you're fishing here is essentially out off a point and at the end of a beautiful little gully running down here. And the first thing I've noticed when we've jumped on is there's fish all over that live scope. Uh, tell us about uh, your technology there, mate. Uh, it was Barry's technology, really. <laughs> I just borrowed his boat. And, um, yeah, the Garmin live scope just blows you away. We just found the other day, yesterday, just watching the fish come along the, along the natural bank and they seem to... Just school up here a little bit. They just can't keep coming through with waves. Well, there right now we're looking at about four or five fish just sitting under the boat, happy to swim back and forth. Oh, here we go. We're on. I'll get out of the road here. Here we go, guys. He's uh, he's hooked up. Ooh, seems like a nice fish. And uh, the technique is hopping the ice jig off the bottom. Those small erratic little hops. Bridget's going to come in here and oh, it's a nice. Oh, it's a bloody beauty. <laughs> Get out of the road here. It's a really nice fish, this. Oh, well, guys. Woohoo! Look at that. That is an absolute cracker. That's that's the corker fish these guys needed. That is uh, on cue. Well done, Dave. Mate, talk us through. You must be feeling absolutely pumped right now. Uh, just, we worked it out a bit yesterday, technique. I tried to catch That's big fish early, and didn't work, so we thought we'd come and have a go at these smaller fish, and we caught that better fish yesterday in the same spot. So I'll just do the same thing again today, and that's the result. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, this is going to make for a super interesting way, and I can vouch that he's going to have uh, a pretty hard-to-beat fish here, so uh, definitely check out that way in at 1 o'clock. There, there it is. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> wow, I stuck under the school, but not the right one. Yeah. <laughs> catch, oh. catch fish. <laughs> what was that? I think I know what that was. Yeah, because it just bumped me. That'd have to be a mess, is it? Oh, that's what just bumped me. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Wrong species. Wrong species. Species, but... Queensland's John O'Bale rallied on day two with two bass just like this to take second place. I'll go search and just this little section. That's all I was doing yesterday. Yep. Fernvale's Shay Williams is a local to this Ooh. lake and he Ooh, knew his yeah. way around to end up in the top part of the field. And like a lot of the competitors, his big bass magically turned into catfish on the way to the boat. Caddy or yeah, um, no. oh, okay. that's a whore. Ex ABT Bass Pro Waymaster Jimmy Reed showed that he still got what it takes, even if it's in the back of the boat, landing this great fish with Pat Conduit. Man. It ate one of Jimmy's favourite big bass baits, an Eco Gear Power Shad rolled up off the bottom. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Good stuff. <laughs> It's a nice fish, mate. Number one. Fellow Queenslander Jake Shireen struggled on day two to catch the quality of fish that he caught on day one. And last but not least, we have South Australian brim and bass addict Tom Deere catching some catfish and some bass on the Big W. Yep. It was a fish. Not feeling bass-like. Please be a bass. Not feeling bass like. Feeling catfish. Yep, feeling catfish. Target species. I don't think he's big, but I can get him anyway. Possibly, possibly. It might be the great fruit. Right. Yeah. And if you like these highlights and want to find out more about the Eco Gear event on Lake Wyvernhoe, visit ABT's website www.abt.org.au for all of the coverage.